my duty is to be the voice, the voice box for the kids in Liberia and for the people in Liberia that don't have a voice box. Knowledge, natural, eternal rule of cipher. Everybody can be a Nero if you control your own destiny. If you control the way you live, the, the, the direction you want to head towards in life, I consider you a Nero because your knowledge and your natural and is internal to rule your cipher. So that's what a Nero is. of the universe that brings in a different vibration to the universe and to the people. But from West Africa, Liberia. Liberia was conquered by the fifth president of America, James Monroe. Um, the free slaves that was, in Liberia, and that was in America wanted to go back to Liberia. And that's how everything has revolved all over again. They actually went through a about 18, 14 year civil war. Um, recently just stopped. It's a lot of chaos, brutality, fatalities, a lot of families being separated, lost, things of that nature. Due to a, a president by the name of Samuel Doe. Um, then it was, was taken uh, back over by another president by the name of Charles Hales, which the people thought that will do better for the country, but actually didn't do better, they made it worse. Then now we have the Iron Woman, who is Ellen Johnson's Celine. Um, I grew up in Brooklyn, Flatbush, Bed-Stuy, Crown Heights, all over Brooklyn. But Flatbush was the last place that I was raised at. Majority of my childhood friendships and childhood memories came from Brooklyn. Um, I also grew up in Philadelphia and Connecticut. But all those combined, from New York, Philadelphia, Connecticut, now Jersey, make gives me a better insight on life. Especially as a musician, you can, um, I believe, as an artist, as a musician, you need to explore the world, go to different places, so you can have a better creative mind to have things in your music, so it would be more broader. I fell in love with music at the age of nine. Um, I wrote my first rhyme when I was in Brooklyn, Ocean Ave, 1245 Ocean Ave to be exact, apartment 3A, being on that stoop. I wrote my first rhyme and listening to One DMC, Public Enemy, Day, um, Jimmy Cliff, Paul Marley, Marvin Gaye, Nas, Jay-Z, Nina Simone, that's another artist, she's beautiful. And she's beautiful in and now. So it captured me. And I fell in love with the art from there. And just putting the music together. And they then they tell me at home that this music is in my blood. When I was younger, my uncle Eddie Yoke, he used to play the guitar. When I was I used to cry, he would play the guitar. And that used to soothe me. So I believe all, all that 
from the root and the uh, inspiration for my uncle playing these music in the household and then hip hop gave me that large impact. And here it is right now. When I was a knucklehead, I was doing some a lot of criminal activities, the things that was intense. So my music was that. Now that I'm grown, I have a different lifestyle, I have a family. So all this combines gives me the understanding of just gradually having my music transition as I transition in life. My father, he was the uh, youngest Liberian to run an American company in Liberia. Uh, so we was fortunate to come down to America due to the grind that my father has been doing since he was a young boy. So that company flew us here and my father ran the company. The war broke out like a couple of months to a year after we flew to America. So that's the gift of the curse right there. All the bads that went on, I learned from it. And my parents learned from it. My siblings, they, they all learned from it. So that's the, the transition of the beautiful thing. Sean Langley. Um, he was the third member of an R&B group called Shamari back in the early 90s. Uh, he was he worked with Telly Riley. Um, his nephew OG. He gave me he took me under the wing, and he also inspired me to produce because we had a group back in the days called the Midnight Suns. He used to uh, take us to the studio. And he had the inspiration when he hears sounds or tracks, he wants to put it together. So we'll go to the studio. An engineer by the name of Fahim will put the sounds together on the MPC. I used to be in the studio observing, soaking up all that information and learning the boards, learning equipments, things of that nature. And from there, that's what gave me the inspiration to become a producer. So when OG I got shot and he was out of commission for some time, that, that didn't stop Midnight Suns for producing more music. So what I did, I took that knowledge that I gained. Three of my dudes, we went in the studio and I would make all the tracks. And we put money together for studio time. And we used to just record all day. And we used to send the songs to Rashawn and he would put everything together. He would let us know to do this and do that, what's hot and what's not. And from there on, we just took it from Storm. Um, we started working with Sporty Thieves, Big L, and Coogee Rap. We just started doing a lot of things together. And that's when I moved out of town. My brother and I started our own label. And here we are now, doing everything the way we're supposed to be doing it. single, Not Drunk Enough, inherited by my trainer, my buddy, my photographer, my videographer. He's the guy that's behind the camera right now. Um, he sent me two records. One was called Chasing Pavement, one was called Not Drunk Enough. I was actually going through the actual emotion at that moment with Not Drunk Enough. Going through a breakup and meeting another female through the time, but I'm not an alcoholic. I use that metaphorically with my um, pain that I was going through at the moment. So he sent me these two records. I chopped up Not Drunk Enough, laid two verses down immediately, and we start promoting it. So my um, assistant, she actually asked me, won't you find um, the manage management to the record? I was like, um, ain't that your job? So she looked out, found the 
the management. She sent the songs to him. She they immediately liked it. Um, signed a single deal with CCAP in Norway, and history was made. So now the video is being played on online. It's in Norway. Hopefully, me and Adele could actually physically meet, cause through with this internet magic, we haven't met physically yet. I'm not drunk Somebody passed me a shot. Somebody just got shot. Laying on the ground by the cupid. Sometimes love is stupid. Make moves like little kids. Frank to be exact. The love keep me off track. So I crawl up heading to try to get away. I don't mimic, I don't copy any other individuals. I do what I I I do what I feel comes out of my heart as an artist. I'm Nero, so I'm gonna give you who Nero is. I'm not the same as the next person that's down the block. So I'm I'm different because I'm a different specimen on earth. This is who I am. So I'm different automatically and I stay real to the art. Being from Africa, we all know slaves have a big part into cotton. So I embrace fashion with the blood, sweat, and tears of my ancestors. And I like, I like art, everything about art. God, the universe is the best creator of art of all time. So just being creatively, that's where my fashion statements come from. So I also like to give that expression through fashion. I get my sense of style from just life in general and the struggle of slavery. If I feel good 